Now, what is this keratoconus? It's nothing but a conical cornea. See, look at this picture. Normally, our corneas are not so conical. This is so conical and its tip is very thin. Because the cornea is going on uh, moving forward, that is projecting forward, it keeps on thinning, thinning, thinning. This condition is called keratoconus. Please note over here that conical cornea with a normal thickness, you have to call it ectasia. When it is thin, you call it keratoconus. But if it is of normal thickness, it's called corneal ectasia. Now, coming back to keratoconus, it is most commonly seen in females between 20 to 30 years of age. 20 to 30 years of age in females. And how will you suspect this is that she keeps coming back to you for a change in her glasses. That is within 3 months, 4 months, she keeps changing her glasses. And the myopia is also very high. Uh, about uh, minus 8, minus 10, minus 12 and it keeps progressing in this high rate. Now, after you have suspected that the patient has keratoconus, you have to examine on your slit lamp and what you're going to see, the first and the most famous sign it can be asked very frequently is the Munson sign. Please look at this picture. You ask the patient to look down. There is an indentation of the lower lid over here. See, this is called the Munson sign. Next, warp striae, these linear scratch-like markings that you're seeing on the cornea that can be seen on the slit lamp. This, these are the warp striae and characteristic of keratoconus. Please uh, remember that we had seen warp striae in acute angle closure, glaucoma, okay, and that is uh, iris atrophy, glaucum flecken and peripheral anterior sinica. That was warp striae. However, warp striae are characteristic of uh, keratoconus. Next, another important finding is this faint blue uh, ring that you're seeing over here is the fleecious ring. This is also another characteristic of keratoconus. It's an iron ring at the base of the cone. That is, at the base of the conical cornea, there's iron deposition. This is called fleecious ring. But if you think about case of fleecher ring, it is seen in Wilson's disease due to copper deposits in the decimus membrane. Copper caser, okay? Caser fleecher, copper caser, try to remember it like that. Caser fleecher ring, copper deposit on decimus membrane in Wilson's disease, okay? So the three signs are Munson sign, number one, number two, Vogue's striae, and number three is your fleecher's ring. Now let's come to the management. The first one is your glasses. Once these glasses give up as the myopia goes on progressing pathologically, you resort to contact lens. And what you know, what you have to notice over here is that you have to avoid soft contact lenses because they do not help in altering the shape of the cornea. However, the semi-soft contact lenses or the RGP lenses, they help in altering the shape of the cornea up to some extent so these are preferred uh, for the management of keratoconus that is rgp or semi soft contact lenses now after this what happens is as it keeps progressing it results in a condition called corneal hydrops what happens is the simits membrane perforates because it becomes too thin and perforates resulting in aqueous humor entering into the corneal stroma this condition is called corneal hydrops. Okay, and if you leave it in that state, it will heal by scarring. It's a central scar and absolutely the patient will become blind. So your management will be keratoplasty for this corneal hydrops. Now another, the latest uh, type of management that is uh, going on these days is your collagen cross-linking. C3R or CXR, the C3 stands for corneal Collagen cross-linking. What you do is, you expose the cornea to UV radiation along with riboflavin. This increases the strength of the covalent bonding in the cornea and uh, um, helps in reducing the thinning of the cornea. So, the UV irradiation along with riboflavin, cornea is exposed to this combination and it helps in increasing the strength of cornea by 
improving the covalent bonding as well as finally results in stopping the progression of keratoconus and avoiding all the complications associated with it. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sai Suguna, your mentor for ophthalmology at MediCoab. Now, thanks for watching the video. Now we have put such videos all together in our ophthalmology app. The trial version you can download from the link over here or in the description box below.